What's going on HPP fam? Welcome back to the next episode. We're grinding away. Just got back from a little vacay and we are slamming right into this 2015 Dodge Ram 5.7 liter. And we are doing a Texas Speed Stage 2 cam I believe on this one. Uh, this one's already got a 6.4 intake manifold swap, long tube headers, exhaust. Um, I believe that's it. And an intake. So let's dive right in and get rocking and rolling on this thing. We have been diligently tearing this thing apart and let me show you where we're at. So as you can see, I've already got the rat out of this thing and the front cover off, We've got the motor at TDC. Um, I could start pulling stuff here, but I'm gonna go ahead and pause and finish pulling our valve covers off and get all of our rocker shafts out. And uh, in preparation to go ahead and get these heads off. I've already got the long tubes disconnected. Um, downstairs so uh, also got to pop this PCM out and get it shipped off as well get it unlocked but uh, this thing is coming right along pretty clean little truck for 2015 uh, nice little mods like I said oh it already has a 6.4 intake manifold swap done to it as well so pretty cool it's got some nice bolt-ons this thing should make some good power I'm excited to get it going and uh, here this bad mamma jamma chop. So guys, as you can see, I've got this thing all blown apart and the cam out. I'm gonna go ahead and grab our new camshaft and go ahead and get it stabbed in here. There she blows. In there like swimwear. So as we move right along, everything's cleaned up, our cam's in, our new lifter's in, our head gaskets are on. I'm waiting on a cam bolt. So we're pausing on our truck. We still gotta wait for the ECU to come back. Anyways, so this morning I've gotten rock and rolling on uh, the Z. Um, you guys have seen we've done a lot of modifications to this car. But today it's just here for some basic maintenance. I've already changed the plugs on this side. And I'm currently in the process of changing the plugs on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one wrapped up and get it on back outside. We got a little delivery yesterday for the S10. We are going racing this weekend with the S10. I have no idea how it's going to do. I haven't really done anything with the S10. We've been rocking and rolling on so many other things. But might as well take it out and have a little bit of fun. Uh, we did get a new harness for the driver's seat because the um, harnesses were out of date. So it may not mean much to you guys or to some of y'all, but at the end of the day, just follow the track rules. Whether they're checking you or not, it's your life on the line when you're going down the strip. So make sure your gear is up to date and within spec. But uh, yeah. I dropped the CO2 bottle off to get it topped off. I may run this thing on the dyno or I may run it on the street before Friday. But we're going to take it out. This will be the first time out at the track with a new intercooler set up. So hopefully all that goes well. Let's get back to wrapping the Z up. together that's gonna wrap this one up he did have an anti fallery one to put on it but he only got one you obviously need two so we'll worry about that next time the ride is here but other than that this Z just keeps getting better and better let's get it on back to the customer so guys as you can see we've got our cylinder heads on we got them torqued down we got our front cover back on and our balancer back on so, just gotta put our rad back in, and then um, put our rocker shafts, our push rods, torque all that down, and get our intake on. And then hopefully our ECU will be back, and we'll be able to change. Boom, and just like that, we're all back together. We got our ECU back, we got our ECU slammed in, the whole truck is back together. And as you can hear, base map is in, chopping away. So, just 
letting it get up to full operating temperatures for a start. And uh, we get her over to the dyno and get the tuning. But it's already sounding sweet. So guys, as we wrap up this week on a lovely Friday, we have this beautiful, let me get it right, this one says SRT. I know the internet be freaking out if I call it scat pack and SRT or a three nine, whatever. Just stop, just stop it with that. This beautiful charger. You guys should recognize this one. It has been in the shop before. Uh, it's got a set of uh, American Racing long tubes and it's got a camshaft in it. And these dope little well wheels right here. But it is here to get a Circle D converter installed, which we'll get started on that this afternoon, and a wicker bill. In the meantime, we've got our Ram 1500 that we just have finished installing our Texas Speed Stage 2 cam in on the dyno. So we've got it strapped down. We're going to get ripping on that soon. And uh, we also came in a little early this morning. Ooh, look at Nala out here. Chilling. <laughs> and as you can see, we've got the S10 loaded up on Not My Trailer. Shout out to Royce. Royce is the gentleman with the Pro Charge Corvette. He let me borrow his trailer. Um, so I've got the S10 loaded up on Blurple Moon. We're going to the racetrack this afternoon uh, to do a little like uh, street legal quarter mile shootout gig. So as you can see, there is a registration sticker right there on the truck. She legal. So we're gonna go race. So I've made a couple of pulls on our Ram here. Sorry I didn't turn the camera on. Let me show you kind of where we're at. Three hundred and sixty-five horsepower, three hundred and forty-seven foot-pounds of torque. Now, if you notice, the graph's kind of uh, and then uh, so we are dynoing this thing in fourth gear, trying to keep our drive shaft speed down. Um, and trying to get it not to shift during the run. So that's why the graphics that way. I will get that better. Um, but uh, let's keep diving into this thing. I'm actually letting it cool off a little bit. It is very hot today. I'm gonna sure to get the next run for you. As you guys could hear, that last one was nice and clean. And check out the graph there, looking good. 374 horsepower, 373 foot pounds of torque. This thing is making some power. Very nice, very nice. Just to recap the mods on this thing, got some long tube headers. We got a 6.4 intake manifold. We got a throttle body intake. Stage two Texas speed cam and SD coil pack. She's lacking a catch can, but that's all right. I'll make that recommendation to the customer. But this thing's ripping. This thing is ripping for a 2015. A very unassuming Ram. Catch you slipping out of light right here. And I'm not here to tell no stories, but I heard through the grapevine, this thing might see some forced induction sooner or later. So it really catching slipping. So guys, that's going to do it for this week's episode. Hope you enjoyed the content. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace.